Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to read about the artist Frida Kahlo and her animalitos. Uh, Frida was known for painting herself with her animals. She's also known for having a unibrow, amongst other things. Um, so sit tight, you guys are going to read the book with me, and then I'll get back to you at the end. Frida Kahlo and her animalitos by Monica Brown, illustrated by John Parra, published by North South Books. This is a story of a little girl named Frida, who grew up to be one of the most famous painters of all time. Frida was special. This is also the story of two monkeys, a parrot, three dogs, two turkeys, an eagle, a black cat, and a fawn. They were Frida's pets, and they were special too. Frida had a parrot named Bonito. Like her parrot, Frida was colorful. She liked to wear bold shades that celebrated indigenous Mexico and her own heritage. She lived in a house the color of a parrot's bright blue feathers, La Casa Azul, where she grew up with her mom, dad, and sisters. Frida had a pet fawn named Granizo. Like her fawn, Frida had watchful, beautiful eyes. When Frida closed her eyes, she remembered her life as a little girl. Frida was always with her father, a photographer who taught her to look at the world through curious eyes. Frida and her father would walk to the park to collect bugs to look at under a microscope. Frida's father also taught her how to paint finishing touches on his photographs. Frida loved the small brushes and the beautiful colors. Frida had a cat with black shiny fur, the same color as her long dark hair. Like a cat, Frida was playful, but as a child, Frida couldn't always play. When Frida was six, she got very sick. She was in bed for a long time. But little Frida didn't get sad or bored. Instead, she used her breath to make mist on her windows, and then she drew a door with her finger. Frida used her big imagination and curious eyes to walk out the door with a magic friend, a little girl who danced and played like a kitten. Frida was independent like a cat. Frida's sickness left one of her legs different from the other, and children made fun of her. But this didn't stop Frida from skating and riding bikes and rowing on the lakes of Chapultepec Park so that her leg could get stronger. Frida was not afraid to do things other little girls didn't usually do. She wore overalls and boxed and wrestled. Frida had two spider monkeys, Fulang Chang and Camito de Guadabal. Like her monkeys, Frida could be mischievous, even when she was a teenager. When Frida was 15, she went to a school called the Preparatoria and found a group of friends she loved. Like Frida, her friends were curious to learn all they could. Together, they read and studied and argued and sometimes got in trouble. Wearing matching caps, they rode donkeys through the halls of the Preparatoria and set off firecrackers. Frida had an eagle named Hertrudis. Like her eagle, Frida's imagination could fly high. When Frida was 18, she was in a terrible accident, and once again she had to be in bed for many months. This time Frida didn't create a magic friend, she created art. Frida's mother made her a special easel and hung a mirror over her canopy bed so Frida could paint. Frida used her imagination and curious eyes to do just that. Feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? And if those weren't enough pets, Frida had two turkeys and three dogs. Senor Zolito, Senorita Calpulina, and Senor Coste. Frida's turkeys were intelligent and sensitive, just like herself. And like Frida, her dogs were warm and loving. When she was lonely or sad, she would wrap her arms around them and they would comfort her. Her Zolo dogs were the same breeds that ran and hunted with the Aztec thousands of years ago, and a reflection of Frida's heritage, of which she was very proud. Frida's dogs had no hair, but their bodies were warm, and Frida gave them great big hugs whenever she felt lonely or sad. Frida's animalitos were spirited and entertaining, just like Frida. When her two spider monkeys were being good, Frida would hold them like babies. When they were being mischievous, they would steal socks and fruit and leap through windows so no one could catch them. Her parrot, named Bonita, liked to snuggle under the covers while Frida took naps, and would do tricks at the dinner table for pats of butter. Frida's animalitos played all day in the courtyard at La Casa Azul, the bright blue house on Lundre Street. Her husband, Diego Rivera, even made the animals a pyramid to climb on so that her pets could roam freely. When Frida painted, her pets would keep her company, and Frida painted all the time. 
while the birds sang and the dogs bark and the turkeys danced in the garden. Frida's animals were her children, her friends, and her inspiration. Frida painted when she was sick and hurting, and Frida painted when she was happy. She also painted when Diego was gone and she was sad. But Frida was never really alone at La Casa Azul, the bright blue house on Lundre Street. She had her animalitas and herself, and she painted both. Frida painted herself with Fu Lang Chang playing with ribbons. She painted herself with Bonita the parrot and Senior Zola the dog. She painted her black cat too, peeking over her shoulder. Frida painted herself with all the pets she loved so much, and even butterflies and caterpillars. Her paintings were magic. And today, if you visit La Casa Azul in Coyacan, just outside of Mexico City, you might hear the sound of a bird or see a black cat jump from the pyramid that sits in the courtyard of the bright blue house on Lundre Street, where Frida and her animalitos lived so many years ago. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed our book about our artist Frida Kahlo and her animalitos. I love how this book kind of goes through her life as a young kid into becoming an artist and what were some of her inspirations? Well, her animals and her pets were her inspirations. This book kind of covers a lot of the animals, their names, and some of the things they did. Um, my question is to you guys, do you have any pets? Uh, or do you have any favorite animals? And if you did a drawing of yourself, could you draw them in there with you? Uh, like her drawings were, or her paintings were? So what I want you guys to do is to create a self-portrait. That's a drawing, a painting, a picture that you create of yourself like she did in her artworks. And I want you to include some animals um, that you guys like or maybe some animals that you have as pets or have had as pets in, in the drawing or painting with you guys. So I want to see you with your animals in an artwork that you've created of yourself and them. All right. I don't care if you draw, paint, um, use markers, use clay, anything you can. Um, I want to see what you guys come up with. So that's the plan. Got it? Our artist, Frida Kahlo, her animalitos. I want to see your animals and you. All right, guys. When you're done making your project, you can send it to me on Seesaw, Google Classroom, or you can email, once again, at james.mcdonough at nhcs.net. All right, guys. Adios.